very special edition of Hey Queen. It's our new feature, Catching Up with the Queens. Yes! <laughs> where we get to bring back some of our favorite queens who we've already sat down with on Hey Queen and catch up with what's been going on in their life. This week, we have one of the biggest divas in RuPaul Drag Race history who has just had something wonderful happen in her life, and we're lucky enough to get her in the studio. It's the large and in charge, chunky, hit, funky, gorgeous diva, the, whose new album, Here's to Life, is available now. And it's Latrice Royale! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Latrice, how are you? How are you? I'm amazing. Yes, you are. Life is grand. It, it, I mean, here's to life, Here's to Latrice. life, here's to life. <laughs> Lady Red, look who it is. I'm so happy! Sister! <laughs> My goodness, now Lady Red is wearing something that you gifted she her. She is. She has been working the wrong way. I sent her a care package because it was time to clean out some things from uh -huh. my closet, and I was like, who is a big bitch that is deserving of some of my Royale fashion? Yes, honey. And my sister got a care package in the mail. Let me tell you, the day that arrived in our house, it was a very special day. <laughs> Lady Red, please, uh, can you reenact what that was like? Oh, I get so geeked. Like, oh my <laughs> god. When it had Latrice's name on the fucking package, that's when I went crazy. I was like, oh my god, oh my god. And Johnny's like, calm down. I'm like, no. I would <laughs> First of all, that's a lie. I would never tell her to down when I saw garment, garment. after oh. garment after garment. So, Latrice, let me tell you one thing. You dress like a hoe. I do. <laughs> I do. I, I have some old tendencies, you know, and I used to be a stripper, you know. Yes. <laughs> I had to hang up the pole, but I, I know a hoe that is deserving and who will work it out. She will work the pole too. <laughs> All the poles. <laughs> All the poles. <laughs> She can get. True words were never spoken. Okay. <laughs> you better slip and slide, girl. <laughs> <laughs> It's much appreciated, and she's been wearing them all around the country. Love actually, because we've been touring Love with it. Work Queen. She wore that robe that you gave her. Her legs were out. She wants to be sexy, honey. Mm -hmm. she's yeah, doing yeah. It. she's doing a cheesecake. Yeah, cheesecake. Not only oh. must you have a body. Oh. But, but you, you must, must be, be sexy. sexy. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, speaking of sexy and beautiful and amazing, your album, Here's to Life, so great. Thank you. And you're taking it in a new direction that and nobody on RuPaul's Drag Race has done. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I'm staying in my lane. You are. That's what I've always done. I well, stay in my lane. Well, you're creating a lane for well, yourself. You, well, you know, it's double wide, but it's there. <laughs> <laughs> Because you took some great standards. There's Summertime, When You're Good to Mama, Hello. the Ruth Brown classic, If I Can't Sell It. I'm going to sit down on it. Exactly. <laughs> uh, I Need You Now, I Am What I Am, a gay classic. I mean. Done in a bluesy fashion. Yes. And uh, Here's to Life, the title track. Here's to Life. And you've been doing a, taking a different course and doing theater shows. I have. Um, I have been bitten by the cabaret bug. Mm. Oh my God! Like, there's nothing like it. Like, you have a captive audience who's there specifically to see you, and it's like, well, other than eating, but they're there. <laughs> <laughs> girls got to eat. But um, other than that, like, they're there really to see you and and hear your story and share space and time. And so, I've gotten bitten because like, there's nothing else like it. It. Like, it has fulfilled me in such a way that I did not know. Yes. And it's pretty amazing. And so I've done two sold-out runs at uh, in New York at the Laurie Beachman, and it's been incredible. Yeah. And so we're about to do a Southern California tour. I'll be here in Los Angeles mm -hmm. at the Rockwell. Whoa. So um, please stay tuned for the dates. It's September, Labor Day weekend. So, Wonderful. Yes, absolutely. Lady Red, is it a date, you and me? I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
Um, now, it certainly helps that in creating this new, very musical CD, because it's not a right. track like the rest, yeah. but it helps that the love of your life is a piano player. Yes. A piano player, Mr. Christopher Hamblin. Yes. He plays piano in the back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's not even here, audience. That's a, he's getting some of that extra shine off his right. hand. He's ah. a New Yorker actually right now playing um, for uh, Cynthia Lee Fontaine and her right. own show. So, um, yeah, but it's been amazing creating art, and he's actually the one who's encouraged me to, like, not be afraid of singing. And, right. Like, oh, I sing around the house. Like, yeah. That's what we do. But he was actually tinkering on the piano playing Summertime, and I was in the kitchen cooking. Uh-huh. And then he was playing it in the like Kathleen Battle operatic version. <laughs> so, you know, and I just got it, came on in, <laughs> came in with my baritone bass. Right, so and he was time. right. He was like, <laughs> you know, you can do this. Mm. And then so here we are. Now you guys met in a in a very modern way. We did. On Facebook, right? No! What was it? <laughs> no, I did. At a meet and greet. Don't lie, Latrice. I kid you not. <laughs> I kid you not. No, we were actually met at a meet and greet. I was in Knoxville in his hometown, and um, he was helping facilitate and, like, take the selfies from the people or whatever, and, like, we started, like, having conversation and flirting, and I dropped my Sharpie, and he bent over to pick it up, and so I dropped it again. <laughs> <laughs> you got You want to make sure, you know. <laughs> and so um, here we are, three and a half years later, and he is the one. And so now I'm engaged, y'all. Yeah! So that is the big news that you are. I stole your job, Adam, because it's important to play air organ when your friend gets engaged. <laughs> he plays all instruments. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. Lady Brad, are you ready to be the be the in the bridal party? I'm so ready. Yeah. Okay, get my dress on. Get my dress. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> So RSVP, honey. Take us to the moment when it happened, because in true RuPaul's Drag Race fashion, darling, you would not let Miss Fifi O'Hara upstage ah! you with her on stage oh! proposal. <laughs> darling, oh! never. Oh my God. Uh, right, I forgot, yeah. Hers you was cute, was though. It was cute. sweet. But Mine you were better. taking me to. No. <laughs> leading up to that. Oh my God, okay, so like so many things have happened. Like I have been debating about, you know, popping the question for a while. And so I knew that we were scheduled to go to Seattle and Seattle holds a special place in our hearts. It's where we fell in love. Um, it was where we changed our Facebook statuses. Oh, and that's the new you know modern I mean? moment. That's, that's the, the thing. Right there. Yeah, like, exactly. When you do that, it's like, ooh. ooh. So, <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, it's like Seattle's always had a like real special place, and I've been there like 15 times. It's like family there, and so um, I wanted to plan something special because when we first when I, he had got there before me, the first time that we had met in Seattle, and he was really romantic, and he had a bottle of champagne mm. and flowers and cupcakes from Cupcake Royale. Oh, Cupcake Royale! Yeah, <laughs> and um, and balloons and like. It was the sweetest gesture, and it was really romantic, and so I had to top him. Well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did you ever? <laughs> I'm looking at you. <laughs> and so, no, like, I had planned it out, and um, the, the staff, Lloyd, and all the people at our place are just amazing, and they were helping me in my little sneak attack. And um, he got a little bitter because I had to run this little Odd Aaron, uh -huh. <laughs> and you know, it was right after Orlando happened, and like my biggest concern was like, am I gonna go through with this, or are my plans gonna stop and shift because of all the events that's just taking place? And then you know, I was like, you know what, I just need to go ahead and follow through because this was this was planned already, and I and life has to go on. And like and your album says, here's to life. Here's you to have life. to keep living yeah. and keep experiencing joy, even in tragedy. In times. tragedy, and I figured, you know, what better way to 
express and show that love is still alive, I'm gonna get emotional, but, um, than to celebrate the love of your life, you know? And um, this man is pretty, pretty phenomenal. Like, anyone who can put up with a queen, <laughs> <laughs> such as myself. Yeah, buddy. You know, he's a special man, and um, I know that he's the one for me, and so I'm better with him, he's better with me, and we're gonna be better, better together, so. Yes, you, well, yeah. now wait, is it, which is this? I know you can't tell oh, which I, one is the real oh, one. Ah! <laughs> All these rings and shit, but like. <laughs> <laughs> The understated band right here. This oh, okay. is the real deal. This I was real. like, this understated <laughs> wet <wedding." laughs> Oh, just this small. I picked it out myself. No, just a little understated, little something, something for the daytime. I wish you had actually slipped that on his finger. And like, and Could you I'm imagine? like to give you this gigantic, multifaceted diamond flower. Down. To show our love. Down. Down, yeah. But, um,. It was pretty spectacular. And like, Juju B, I love her so much. We love Juju B, right? Yes, of course we do. She was there, and we were often there together at our place. And um, she captured everything on film, but like, she was actually the one who changed his Facebook status for him because he had to accept it. And she's like, they had got back from lunch, and she sh he showed Juju, and she was like, uh, boop. <laughs> and so it was good that she was there to be there for the for the proposal for as well. All of it. For she all of it. For the she's, status yeah. changing, and she's there yeah, for, the, for the full for status, the full status changing. changing. So it's pretty awesome. That is really yeah. just exciting. Congratulations, Thank you. darling. Thank so you. fun. I'm excited. And your musical love will continue around the country. It will. More dates of your More to life. dates. We are going to be in San Francisco also in September and try to get to Portland, Seattle. We're going to do a little West Coast thing and then work our way back east again. So That's exciting. Um, yeah, the world needs love. And so we're going to celebrate life and, 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 and do the damn thing. And you guys are also collaborating on uh, Latrice Royale Management? Is yes, he enough? is. A, well, it's LRI. LRI. It's LRI Talent and Management. Right. And um, yes, he is very, very, very prominent in my business. And he's my executive personal assistant as well as a talent representative. So he really does uh, go to bat for the girls. Right, because he's working with Cynthia yeah. right now. Yeah, and, he's working with Cynthia right now. And um, and, and you have, uh, who are some of the other most notable girls that you're working with? Um, we have Kennedy Davenport, Chi Chi Lips! De yes, ah. Chi, -Chi, Chi Chi Devane. Moody! Yeah. <laughs> Mariah, you know. Mariah Face! <laughs> I'll be a hype man for all your ladies. I love it, I love it, I love it. But Jaden, you know, a lot of black girls I'm naming off, huh? Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Somebody we, gotta we do did it. see an all-white battle of the seasons, or at least I wasn't gonna just say a little that. gold. Not a little gold. Yeah. You it, had a, it. it had a little Puerto Rican-ness in it, I guess. They, they pointed Mildly. out Mildly. Mildly. Ah. But Mildly. It, 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 there was a very large absence of, of color. The women of color. <laughs> the women who are men of color. Of color. In that right. show. But it's all good. But it's all good. Well, Divas of Drag took care of that. Didn't it, though? Yes, yes. it yes. did. It was a lot of fun doing that. Uh, Mimi uh, was living her dream, and we were all like supportive in that. And she had a vision, and it was trying to be inclusive of more than just um, even RuPaul girls. It, right. We, we did yeah. do some local queens, yes. um, and gave them a shot to uh, be a part of the show as well. So yeah, that's good. Yeah. Good stuff. Got to. And I heard there was Diva Fits with Alyssa Edwards Bitch. on tour. Was there? The was tea. there? Was some tea? There's some tea, tea, baby. There was some tea. Uh, well, you know, when you're on the road with a bunch of egos, uh, one. and everybody's very famous now. Everybody, from, you know yeah, I mean? they're all on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Famous. Um, <laughs> uh, but, um, you know, anytime you have um, egos and diva clashes and control, like issues like girls who like to be in control and they're gonna butt heads. And, bitch, they butted some heads. And I wow. was just like, let me see what color the sugar gonna put on the wall next. <laughs> <laughs> I heard there was some serious. Like, knuckle, I thought, I really did think at one point there was going to be some hands tossing and flying and hair wig pulling. But they, they kept it together. It got tense, though. Uh-huh. Like, I heard it got cheesy. 
Bitch, the walls are getting cheesy about 7.15. <laughs> it's getting cheesy, bitch. <laughs> Oh, well, that's a delicious <laughs> little sip. Yes! Of tea. I'm sure yes. Reddit has the rest of the tea for you. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a very quick break and we'll be back with Jasmine Masters. Yeah! <laughs> something to say. Mm -hmm. You always do. You have a hilarious <laughs> sense of humor. And you've made you made a video about people and their bad breath. About people who smell like they have porta potties coming out their mouth. <laughs> that part. <laughs> Uh, and it started to go, I saw it a couple times shared around on my social media. Mm -hmm. I remember retweeting and liking it. And then suddenly, somebody else gave you a little extra something. Yeah, Justin Bieber. Wow. Bieber. <laughs> I was... I was gagged. Yeah. Um, I was at work at Moe's in San Diego, uh -huh. and I heard my phone just vibrating. I'm like, oh, hell, what's going on? So I look at my phone, then I see all these notifications, and I'm thinking, what the hell did I say now? So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like okay, let me just, you know, see what's going on. Then they're like, oh, your video is going viral, Justin Bieber. And I'm like, oh, my God, what I do with Justin Bieber? So then when I look at everything, it said that he put on his social media that was one of his favorite videos. Yeah. So then I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm driving home, eating my tacos. And I go home, <laughs> and I wake up. I go to bed. I wake up in the morning, and it's just all over, like, the, the everybody putting it on there. Yeah. Every, every story, every, everyone was like. Yeah. And it was also giving you the shine you deserve, because they're like, oh, hilarious you. queen from RuPaul's Drag Race, <laughs> yeah. Jasmine Masters, once again, her comedy is slaying them all. Yeah. Because once you get that little boop, from Justin Bieber, <laughs> you can rewrite that whole story on it. It is so crazy, and I always say, I've never tried to say anything to hurt anybody or bring them down. I mean, I may say the truth, and it may be like hardcore, but I just rather tell you up front than the sugarcoat shit. Yes. But I mean, everybody had met somebody with bad breath. Yes, that's shit. right. And what happened was, how I made the video two years ago, was a lady, we was doing brunch, and a lady came up to me, she was talking to me, and it was just like, whoa. And I was sitting there like, bitch, you don't taste that? Like, you don't. So, when I got, when I got my phone, girl, that's when I came out, like, bitch, you don't taste that? And that's how the video came apart. And it was about two years ago. Oh, and well, luckily, you snapped it, you saved it, and now Justin Bieber, your new best friend. I wish, <laughs> I wish. You see him in his little tidy whities Oh, I did. 
<laughs> yes, I did. Uh, um, have you been getting a ton of new followers from yes. this? Yes. Amazing. Amazing amount? Oh, thank God. Yes. Yeah. Because I love people. Yeah. I really do. You know, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm yes. very geeked up all the time. You should be. And yeah. I'm getting a lot of people like, oh, my God, I misjudged you from the season. Uh, you know, I said this. Somebody even told me the bad thing they said about me. And I was like, oh, wow. You know, they said, please accept my apology. Of course, baby, I do. You know, we all make mistakes. It's okay. Yes. You said some bad things. It's okay. We can get over it. You know, we got the things to fight in the world. But yes, a lot of followers and a lot of people saying good things now. That's which good. I'm really excited about. You deserve it. You Thank deserve you. it. You are yeah. hilarious, and I want to see more of these hilarious videos from you. Yeah, I'm going to do some more. People have been asking. Yeah, for that. That just is crazy. like yeah, because we love smiling, happy, telling it like it is, Jasmine, and that's yeah, why you can you get. You guys them. got me drunk. Uh huh. Well, <laughs> you'll be able to see more smiling, happy Jasmine giving it to you like you want on the second half of the first season of Drag Cousins. Coming up next month with Lady Red and Jasmine Masters. Yeah, yes. <laughs> and look who it is, Trinity K. Bonet, uh, here to announce her new show coming to Hey Queen TV. Trinity, what is it about, real quick? Well, it's about cops. <laughs> <laughs> it's a no, detective um, show with Lady Red and Trinity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Johnny and Lady Red was nice enough to give me a show to uh, go around the world and interview different local queens all across the country. I've been so many places and met so many talented girls, and they don't all get the opportunity to be on RuPaul's Drag Race. So since I have a little platform and a couple followers, I figured I'll, you know, push a few girls out there and give them the opportunity to be broadcast, and hopefully they'll get booked somewhere or, you know, Ru may see him on the show and say, I mean, I want to snatch her, you know. It is. So, exactly. You know. I'd just like to say that I'm in Black Lady Paradise today. It's very <laughs> beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Except if you tell them to hurry up in the dressing room <laughs> when they all just look at you yeah. like this. <laughs> and then go back <laughs> to doing their lips. Because they're not having it. <laughs> Thank you, Latrice. Thank you, Jasmine. Thanks Thank you, Trinity and Lady Thank Red. You. We love you. Make sure you check out all the brand new programming coming to you over the next couple months on HeyQueen.tv. And thank you for watching the first inaugural episode of Catching Up with the Queens. Awesome. See you later, baby. Bye. Bye.